Facebook Y254 channel on X, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and of course, all those other lovely social media platforms like Threads, TikTok, we're still there, and YouTube in case you miss an interview that, or you just want to watch one particular interview over and over. You are allowed. Just go up there. Hashtag of a day is MCM or generically why in the morning it is the second day of october happy new month again September, yes and today should be friday but for some reason it remains to be monday despite my wishes despite my heart palpitating for friday but it is well i am patient and i can wait so here we are into the political segment we're going to talk about a couple of things that are going on first of all we'll go through the newspaper and see how best we can tie what is going on currently with what we want to see as the youth but now before i go any further allow me to allow my panelists to introduce themselves good morning nko salama so I'm good. Uh, what is your good name, sir? My name is Msita Dennis. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you have a social media handle that you'd like to put to someone? On next, um, mm -hmm. you can find me at Msita Dennis. Mm -hmm. On TikTok, the same. Mm -hmm. On Facebook, you can get me at Msita Red and Sell Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just Why that. Of, of the notion that TikTok should be banned? Um, as for me, TikTok should not be banned. Mm -hmm. Because? Because on TikTok, there are those guys who are there to earn and they are doing adverts by selling their products. Mm -hmm. there, are also, also, there are also those who are there to entertain us and make you laugh at least when you're bored. Mm -hmm. Come with some good fun clips and you just out of nowhere you can laugh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have a favorite and, comedian? Uh, sorry? Do you have a favorite comedian? Favorite comedian? Mm -hmm. Yes, sure, I have. None, yeah? The um, MC Tricky and uh, Eric Omondi. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're the best. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. And you are, sir? Um, I go by Brighton Kevin Mahota. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, on any social media account, you can get me by Honorable Mahota Jr. You're already honorable. Yeah, yeah. I've taken that. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, what, makes you, what makes one honorable? Not just you, but generally, to Kiskem Heshmi Wanani, what's. Moshimira. It has changed the notion. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be how you treat your people mm -hmm. and how people see you mm -hmm. and how people value you. Mm -hmm. But now Mwishimu has become like it's a tag. Mm -hmm. When you are now, you're elected, mm -hmm. even if you're not treating your people, you want to be called Mwishimu. Mm -hmm. But now for me, I'm a honorable, mm -hmm. how I treat my people, mm -hmm. how they see me, mm -hmm. and how I walk around with them. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why I'm called honorable. I'm not, I'm not the one who gave myself the name honorable, mm -hmm. but they, call, they started calling me honorable. Then I accepted the call. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Please, if he's telling the truth, just slide into our DM and confirm that he's treating people properly. You know, here we, we deal by example. We are very practical people. All right, so speaking of people, we're going to take a leave of people daily today. Page. So we have. Natulisa um, Mandan Sports. Like, I want to see what happened to Kipiegan over here. No, mwingine mwenye meshinda. See all the time, all the time, violence of the political nature. Kindly. Mwenye nafanyanga zivitu. Change. Hmm? Trend set. All right, so we have this uh, story. It's how political parties will share a 1.4 billion windfall. We are definitely, definitely going to look at that. Then on the side here, governors set to face off in COG elections for top officials, four top officials rather face stiff opposition amid questions over their work over the last year. Mm -hmm. Lafapa kuna picha ya jeshi with the raising the Kenyan flag. So it says inside Kenya, police deadly Haiti mission. Ta -dun -dun -dun. All right, so the force will not operate as the United Nations flag, but it's sponsored by the United States. So we'll then we have a picture of their one, Mheshimiwa Aiden Dwale, and of course, Alfred Mutuaki Sumu, and Kakamega seek to host AFCON games. Ta -dun -dun -dun. That is another story over there. So at least Munajaribuna Sports, I like it. I li but I don't know why I've not put the picture of the people who are playing the sport, but Nisao, we will forgive. So, guys, we are going to start. Um, <clears throat> First of all, how are you feeling about this particular story about counties being added? 
Mnonade your, your story. Do you think the, the economy, Ikosawa? Okay, okay, let me start with the one who's, ad by the way, please, short disclaimer, guys, any views expressed here do not reflect those of the station currently. No matter how sensational they may be, they do not reflect those of the station. I am Makotsa, why do you think it's okay before I come to Msita? For me, the population in Mongezeka, and uh, this MCS, the governors, mm -hmm. when I should manage their people mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. So if you add the number of counties, it increase mm -hmm. what the, the number of people that are going to survive. You know, but uh, you have some uh, MCS, mm -hmm. they can't reach their, the entire population in Yamepewa. Now, for example, it doesn't reflect, it reflect to the people they have. Mm -hmm. So, when the counties, we are going to pay time, na is of is of facilities na funds. Mm -hmm to reach their people. Mm -hmm. So for me, on my side, mm -hmm. due to the population, mm -hmm. they need to be added. Okay. Yeah. You are very free to debate <laughs> on this. Uh -huh. um, I partly agree with Brighton, mm -hmm. but I also disagree with his views. Mm -hmm. Increasing the number of counties, uh, that will lead to slow remitting of funds, especially mm -hmm. from the national government. Mm -hmm. The best thing they can do maybe is to increase the number of leaders in counties. Mm -hmm. Well, he's talking about the MCS not being able to treat the locals. We have what you call the Nyumbakumis. Mm -hmm. We have the village elders. Mm -hmm. And we also have some other leaders. Mm -hmm. Instead of uh, the, uh, the counties being added, you can see if we only have 47 counties, and at times, not even at times, we know it's very difficult for the national government to remit the funds to the counties. Mm -hmm. Now take a scenario where we have 48 plus counties. Mm -hmm. How is it going to be easy for the government to remit funds? Mm -hmm. But I've told that we have uh, 47 counties, but now we have several positions and we make sure that you delegate your, you delegate your work. For example, you have the governor, the uh, deputy governor. You, you have that hierarchy. You make sure that this, uh, this department, the, this one who is here, and this department is working or it's not working, that may be the best instead mm -hmm. of adding more counties. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, so I want to throw something in the works here. There's a time, I, th I believe the matter is still in court, when His Excellency had, um, when he was choosing his cabinets, uh, there was an uproar, or let's, I, I would like to say uproar, because people are complaining, I guess. Closest thing to opera I can I can think of. So instead of the constitutionally given 25 cabinet secretaries, you're supposed to uh, cabinet administrative secretaries. Whoa, mudomo. I think ninja. So yes. yes, instead of yeah, instead of I wanted to say the whole thing. Kabla ni anza kusema si yes. Ndio mujua yoyo si yes. Nini nini nisi nisi hati yoyo e e. So it's supposed to be constitutionally he's given 25. But he appointed 50. And then now came in the ruling. Uh, one of the courts now suspended it. And now something about a possible reshuffling of, of the dockets to Okianzi and I don't know what he's doing in trade. But that's just me. Like I said, the thoughts that are being expressed here do not reflect those of the station. So do you agree that we should have 50 versus 25? So you more people, you know, more hands. In the first place, what is the function? Because we have a ministry, mm -hmm. the CSS, mm -hmm. the CS, non liberal on the CS. Mm -hmm. They have the PSS, mm -hmm. who are now de who are delegating the entire duties. So now what is the work of the CSS? Mm -hmm. It's like a, a glorified nature, personal assistant. Yeah, there's no need of having the CSS second positions. Uh -huh. you know, the problem we have with our country, mm -hmm. you have a lot of positions, and people are there, they're like, they're they doing nothing, mm -hmm. getting paid. Mm -hmm. For example, let me, let, let, L let me not be gender biased. No, if adding, when we add uh, the counties, mm. we are looking at the people. Mm -hmm. But now this CS, whom, whom are they serving? They are serving their bosses. Feel free to step in. Is this a to Mimi Nech, Nongos, back in Yuma? You know, they are serving their bosses. They are uh -huh. not serving the people. Mm -hmm. the, C the CS is serving the people directly. Mm -hmm. But now the CS, they are serving their bosses. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. Now, they, they, they see the, when, I talking, when I was talking about the counties, mm -hmm. the uh, MCS, they are serving their people. Mm -hmm. Now the big interest of the lead, of leaders of Kenya is supposed to be the people who elected them. Now who is electing the CSS? Mm -hmm. They're just being appointed to, be, to get cash. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the problem with the Kenya, it is corruption number two. Mm -hmm. If you add in one institution, you add a lot of positions. Mm -hmm. Now the flow of cash or the flow of the corrupted money, mm -hmm. it will be wide. Mm -hmm. So the money reaching the people, mm -hmm. it will be less.
Musita. <laughs> without being biased. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe without self contradiction i may say when you look at the the last regime of the former president mm-hmm. when you look at his cabinet mm-hmm. you know we say that there's a difference between a politician and there's different uh, a politician and a leader mm-hmm. so without being biased i heard of a story where an elephant went to a farm and said because it was raining outside mm-hmm. just allow me to put my head in your house mm-hmm. so that maybe my back can be rained on mm-hmm. later the elephant also told the farmer it's raining heavily may I just put half of my body in your house mm-hmm. the farmer still accepted and the house was very small mm-hmm. later the elephant said may I just come in mm-hmm. now that we're here yeah. now that when you look at the cabinet today mm-hmm. if a ministry has a CRCS, yes, and the mist still has the CSAs and the APS. Mm-hmm. This is now the right time for the government to know who is a leader mm-hmm. and who is a politician. There are those people, you just wake up one day, you even don't know how jali nini unongea. Mm-hmm. You just speak. Mm-hmm. Not because uh, Kenya is a democratic country, you just speak. Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. But literally, you know, with your level, there are such, some words that you can talk before the, those people who gave you work. Mm-hmm. We elected you, and you must show us that we elected you. You must serve us. Uh, we have this, uh, what we call, Bunga la Mwananchi. Mm-hmm. You've had famous people like the Kimbi Kimbi. You've had the Omosh and these people. These guys are being suppressed. Mm-hmm. But if I told that these guys, whatever they speak, because literally when you look at what, okay, we can talk, when you listen to what they speak, mm-hmm. these guys at least they have visions. Mm-hmm. They know that at this point, there's something wrong. Mm-hmm. At this point, there's something right. Mm-hmm. But every time you'll see them criticize because they believe that everything is not in order. Mm-hmm. So for me, I cannot say that uh, electing 50, uh, not ele- yeah, choosing the 50 CSAs is the best option. Mm-hmm. Rather, they should limit now and okay, they can choose the 50s. Mm-hmm. But now in the 50s, whom are they electing? Mm-hmm. Is it because I give you? You remember a certain statement said by a prominent person that this government is like uh, the government is like um, what shall I say? Shares it has some shares. It has shareholders. Share, yeah, yeah. that's it. Yes. It's like a company. Mm-hmm. A certain leader said that. So when you look at those fifty cases, for example, when you look, where are they from? Mm-hmm. Most of them you'll see they're from those people in the government. Mm-hmm. And that's why you'll see these people criticizing them. Mm-hmm. So as for me, I'll say that uh, it's, n- uh, it's not in order to, like, uh, to choose those 50 CSAs. Rather, mm. what they should do, they should choose leaders, not politicians. Look at those CSAs. Mm-hmm. Are they leaders or politicians? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That the okay. question should be asking. Mm. The CSAs were being appointed for loyalty. You know, the, all these people, are, they are loyal to the president. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know, it's just paying back. Rudisha Mkono. Yeah, Rudisha Mkono. Mm-hmm. Nipe ni kupu. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, but now choosing them, it was not the legal way. And I know the president is smart. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm sure. Mm-hmm. That's why he just appointed them. Na kawambia, sa, nitafanya jasa wa koti mekata. Wow. Ni muapia kazi, koti mekata. Yeah, kwa pia, ringine sweet. Yeah, how will I do? Uh-huh. Yeah, koti mekata. Uh-huh. So it was like, anakupea kazi, uh-huh. then, ye yeah, ana step aside, uh-huh. ana chia sheria. Mm-hmm. Know how smart it is. Mm-hmm. The guy is smart. So and I'm like, I remember this lady called uh, Milsen Omanga. Mm-hmm. Ali ko proud. He's like posting everywhere. Ata sa ibado ko his social media accounts. Pana jeta CS. Pana don keep it. I just laugh. I wrote he's a genius. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, but the exactly he's genius. Finesse. And I love him so much. Mm-hmm. For real. Mm-hmm. I, but the, I was as uh, an Azimio guy. Mm-hmm. But I just said to love Ruto. Mm-hmm. Well, the guy is smart. Twitter is about to break. Ali to pick a to pick a ten nil. Uh-huh. We had everything. Uh-huh. Got to pick a ten nil. Uh-huh. The f- the most hurting thing, I vote for my president. I call him my president Raila. Uh-huh. He goes to Karen, sleeps, uh-huh. waiting for the certificate. How? Okay. Before we continue with that line of thought, we haven't even touched on the story yet, which which brought about this debate. But I do like something that you said, Musita, that cut tangent that you've taken about how sometimes you find politicians just speaking 
just for the sake of speaking. I, I'd like to believe that every, every, some, okay, most of the people in power at least have a communications team, you know, that, that you're given provided speeches, whether you choose to read them or not, that's on you, but uh, speech is provided. There's someone who is supposed to be managing your social media accounts, but when I see the things that I've been seeing rampant, uh, the most stunning for me was, was this um, go, go between, be between Nani, uh, the governor, Sakaja, Sakaja and, and Babo, you know, yes, uh, MP. And I was so confused. I was like, what's going on? Of course, our favorite recording artist, Akengia Koyo Mix, that is Mike Sonko, who just records everything. That is why he's our favorite recording artist. So, and then, now, before that, y you have someone who, a minister of trade, Buana, someone, in fact, did you know that um, one of the, I want to say delegates for the United States refused to have a meeting with yeah. with Moses Kuria simply because of yes, his sensational th things that he says. Yes. yes uh. In any way, you can remember, you can remove the monkey from the forest, Ooh. but you can't remove the forest in it. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys were uh, uh, like that, uh -huh. but you give them power, uh -huh. what to you? Uh -huh. So I, mean, I, I can't even blame them. They are who they are. Uh, I have like questions. the DP, the DP is. Him. Uh huh. At a kweli. Open. Uh -huh. You are a fool, yeah. Sikudangai. Hey, we, we, ni mujinga. At a direct. That doesn't say something about us as a people who voted no. for them. If he made a mistake, you don't know. But now they are with us. Now we know. Now we know. Okay. Yeah. No, it doesn't say anything for us. Uh -huh. Even before the elections, mm -hmm. you heard what these people were talking in their rallies. You could literally know that this person is insane or this person is insane. Uh huh. So we are electing, um, we, we knew what you wanted. Let's, uh, we were promised exactly the, the Bible is down, mm -hmm. the government is going to perform. But less than three, less than three months in the government, mm -hmm. you heard about the high coffee, mm -hmm. you heard about the uh, help not going to give funds to the comrades. Mm -hmm. Today, comrades are suffering. Mm -hmm. Just that they added those funds virtually. They, they add the funds. <laughs> because, yes, the, the finance act right now but has, no, the, has the, the funds are not The, the, the funds are not being dispersed. Going to education. Uh -huh. The funds are not be, being dispersed. When I say, ma, to monge the pesa za help. But now it's a pesa za kuji. So, in the story, it's a story. Yeah, sweet stories. Sweet stories. Yeah, sweet stories. Oh, wow. They just hurt you inside, but there's in, nothing you can do. I say that we make wrong choices. And has told that choices have consequences. Mm -hmm. We elected leaders. There are several governors, president from president emeritus from different universities, mm -hmm. but they are not speaking during the reigns of His Excellency, the coming president Babo mm -hmm. You could see what was happening. I'm sorry. What did you say? His Excellency, the becoming president. Okay. Babo Wow. During his reigns, yeah. comrades can tell. Wow. You. Okay. That I did not see I that wasn't coming. Primary. I really did not see that coming. Uh huh. But you could see how this guy was working, and even up to date, mm -hmm. you can see th the media. Media doesn't fail. Uh huh. Utaona those videos that you will take before, and how this guy was vocal. His Excellency, sorry to use the word guy. Mm -hmm. How His Excellency Bob was very vocal, and he, how he was very wild, especially when it comes to uh, serving uh, the comrades. Mm -hmm. Today's uh, leadership, especially for the students. Mm -hmm. The students are not engaging, or let me say, they are not advocating. Mm -hmm. You will go there, for example, you just elect, for example, uh, sometimes, you know, we, we said that uh, women uh, can mm -hmm. lead, mm -hmm. but how can they lead? For example, when it comes to students, mm -hmm. you elect a student leader who is a female mm -hmm. as a governor of the institution or a president of the institution. Mm -hmm. If comrades are going to complain, crying to him that we are not getting this, we are not getting this, the comrades will, the president will go there. But what are they going to do? Mm -hmm. We have what you call tokenism. Mm -hmm. They're given a small token, they keep quiet. Tokenism. Yes. Wow. Uh -huh. Now, poor kitu kidogo, una tulia. Mimi tabaki ni kumia. So we are, we Kenyans, mm -hmm. we are the one who, uh, who make bad choices. Mm -hmm. Tutakuja tudanganyue, oh, tumefanya, tutafanya. And this, uh, this, this cliche mm -hmm. we have, mm -hmm. tumetenga. Mm -hmm. to tatenga. Mm -hmm. It's now common. So I rather say that instead of telling us we have na tumetenga, mm -hmm. just keep it for yourself. We are okay right now. Okay. Yeah, Mexico to sa. 
All right, Makotsa, before I go to you, one more time with the disclaimer. I, I, I like that he has a uh, president ready in mind. Uh, I'm glad that you're very passionate about this, but kindly, again, the thoughts and feelings expressed here on this set right now do not reflect those of the station. I am Makotsa, you were saying something. Yeah, no, no. We Kenyans, mm -hmm. we are like women or ladies. Ukimwambi uh, ukweli, hata kupenda. That's a I, fact. I don't really know how we've switched very fast no, to, no, to the female gender. I, I, I'm, and, I'm, coming, I'm coming to that. Okay, okay. Like, I have a deal in Ivana, mm -hmm. the one million. Na niko na biashara, na panga kuanza. Najua ataendea kwa nani? Kwa nani? Your deal. Uh -huh. The deal is coming. Uh -huh. Anasama it is soon. Uh -huh. So, mkenya liambiwa, tumetenga. Uh -huh. Tutatenga. Uh -huh. Tutapea ajira. Mm -hmm. Hakona be sweet. Mm -hmm. Rela kasema, mm -hmm. I'll give you free education. Mm -hmm. I'll give you free medication. Mm -hmm. Wakona medication na pesa. Mm -hmm. Which one is the best thing? Medication. It's money. Yeah, okay. ah, Mukenya no, it's money. I'll use that money to get food. Kubayi pombe. Mm -hmm. Kujitibu. Mm -hmm. So, akachagua aka pesa. Which mm -hmm. was virtual. Nikama ile pesa jackpot. Uh -huh. Imaandiko hapo in written. <laughs> but you'll never see it. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do this. Let's actually read the story and touch it uh, one more time, and then we move to something else. So uh, the story is on The People Daily, page 11, that, and the title reads, Creating More Counties Makes No Economic Sense. I will not read all of it kindly, but uh, will do my best to catch the most relevant parts of it. So the notion of further dividing county should not be entertained because it does not make economic sense and looks like an attempt to accommodate specific communities and clans for political reasons. Violence in the first sentence. Mm -hmm. After a proposal by 26 members of parliament to establish 11 additional development, devel sorry, devolved units in Kenya emerged, the first thing that crossed the mind of many Kenyans is, what have we done with the 47 counties? Yes, we actually, if you are aware, we just recently, a few weeks ago, celebrated 10 years, a whole decade of devolution, and we are not really sure why we're celebrating, because the country clearly is not it's not even even within, the, within those counties. You'll find a couple of counties are thriving more than others. And I think that the most hard hit are the, the semi-arid and arid areas, if I'm not wrong. But it continues to say, this is definitely within their constitutional right, however, concerns rooted in fundamental questions about the effectiveness of the existing counties, especially when this move appears to be driven by political motives and a quest for power abound. Let's just go back to that first sentence, guys. Do you think this has something to do with specific communities? And I'd like to think this is a very, very diplomatic way of saying tribalism still is very much in existence and clans for political reasons. Do you think that's one of the reasons? No. Why do you think that way? For me, uh, according to the increment of counties, mean as a devolution is a idea Kenya. In a way that, the county has to develop mm -hmm. is because of their leaders mm -hmm. that they elected. Mm -hmm. Like where I come from, Kakamega County. Mm -hmm. We have had excellent governor, mm -hmm. and the one who is in is also excellent. Mm -hmm. So, and the work they have done, Kakamaga, it's almost the next city up for uh, to talk uh, Eldoret. So, Eldoret is the next after Kisumu, after it was Nakuru, then Eldoret. I think the next one it took it took Kakamega because Kwa city. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, it's the town is wow mm -hmm. because of the governor. Mm -hmm. Now, if you get a governor of like let's say Garissa, mm -hmm. the guy is, is big given money. And singling it, mm -hmm. how will how will you get development? And they give the Kakamega is given the same same money. They use it mm -hmm. to develop their county. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can chip in. Chip in, chip in, Sita. These guys are being given money. We agree, mm -hmm. but they are not squandering the money. How so? Uh, those people who are close to them, your peers, mm -hmm. are the ones squandering the money. Mm -hmm. The president has his advisor, the economic advisors, and all those. Mm -hmm. For example, you have a county where the semi arid counties you can name them. The governor gets money, but now how to use the money? Mm -hmm. 
how is he being advised to use the money? Mm. When you go to check their accounts, mm. their bank accounts, yeah. all, all the accounts, financial accounts, mm -hmm. the money you'll get there is reflecting the amount they are being paid uh, for their salaries. Mm -hmm. But where is the rest? Mm -hmm. Because the governor in meetings, they'll say that we've given this amount of money mm -hmm. to this ministry. There are those people suffering because lack of water. Mm. If a county like Garissa, you're given money. Why can't you even decide in every constituency, mm -hmm. because there are people who travel for kilometers to get water. Mm -hmm. You'll see on the television, day in, day out, people suffering. Mm -hmm. So, Iso Pesa, why can't they even decide in every constituency? For example, let's say a county like Mombasa mm -hmm. has at, at least six constituencies. Let's say, for example, per constituency, you have at least two boreholes. Mm -hmm. Don't you think it can be of help to the citizens? Mm -hmm. Now, but those people are being given the money. The, the governors, they'll get the money to the ministries, but now the ministries are failing the governors. That's why they'll go ahead tarnishing the reputation. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. why came, Kenyans come in now making poor life choices. choices. Uh -huh. yes. You can have a mistake because he is supposed to oversee what mm -hmm. the ministers are doing. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and this thing, they have never seen these people from arid areas mm -hmm. going to Bejimak in Israel. Israel is in a, in a desert, but it's green. So I like, I, I like to give them a challenge. Uh -huh. They just take a time, even if, even if it's two weeks. Mm -hmm. They go to Israel, they Bejimak, what those people are doing. Mm -hmm. They just come back to Kenya, do it, mm -hmm. and it will work. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of water around Kenya. Mm -hmm. but, uh, there are some places that it's raining, mm -hmm. they collect that, they, they have that, the, the water, they use it for irrigation. Mm -hmm. We have rivers, they can just channel the, the, the water to their places. Now, if they cannot do that, then they say, our place is dry. Mm -hmm. who, who, they, they want to blame God. Actually, okay, I, I will again sidestep that very sensational last remark, but then bring something into the table. So I was watching the news yesterday, and apparently we had a bumper harvest for maize. But the, the board, the cereal board, has not bought the, the, the nini. It's not plunder. The, let's call it the product. They've not bought the product from the farmers. So now the, now the farmers are stuck with a lot of maize. However, tutasema pia tukuna drought, although there are some parts of the country that I, I don't really have food. So whose fault is it there? No. How is no, no, someone no, stuck no, with no, food? It's again being played. Because the farmer used a lot of money to plant mm -hmm. and it will up to harvesting. Mm -hmm. Now the board, the cereal board, it went out to sideline the farmers mm -hmm. were quite desperate. Then they come with their own prices to and buy. And in the meantime, while they're being sidelined, now there's, there's a, the issue of drying. So if you don't have a sophisticated way of drying or a means to keep this product fresh until mm -hmm. such a time that it will be bought, so we have to get a loss. At that, at Mid yes, you throw it, you throw away price, and you'll be using middlemen, not even directly yeah. from the cereal. As a, you and your target, they have that target. But meanwhile, His Excellency is still talking about fertilizer. So, what are we supposed to do with the things that we have now produced? Mzita, do you have something to say? Because um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are talking about the farmers. Uh, um, this year, you plant maize. And it fails you, mm -hmm. despite using all the doing all the procedure requirements, the fertilizers, kupalilia, and all that, mm -hmm. all the requirements you did, but it fails. Mm -hmm. The second year you're still planting maize, mm -hmm. doing all the requirements, the procedure requirements, it fails. Mm -hmm. The following year you still do the same. Why should you live on benchmarks? Mm -hmm. If at all personally you have your dreams, if this is not doing well, I believe you cannot only have one dream. That's why I, sometimes I say you should not have dreams, you must just have visions. If maize is not working, why can't you even decide for There are those foods that don't not necessarily grow in cool and wet areas. There are those foods that can do well even in hot and in sunny days. Why can't we just implement and uh, try doing something different from what others are doing? The, gov the president is talking about uh, the fertilizers. These fertilizers, Without your contradiction, I'll say they'll go to those people when you say Utaandika chini jina uko uske the 
uh, the chief or the sub chief writing your names that these people are going to get uh, fertilizers but when it comes it's virtual mm -hmm. those who are getting okay at least if i know you then i'll get but if i don't know you even the fertilizer mm -hmm. because i'm also a farmer mm -hmm. mean part mm -hmm. at now, the subsidized price yeah, say, yeah. Mm -hmm. now the problem is you subsidize the fertilizer mm -hmm. you increase the fuel just the same. <laughs> Asa, mm -hmm. ni mbolea Nairobi, mm -hmm. Then I used 2,000 kupeleka nyumbani. Mm -hmm. Sinde safe. Mm -hmm. Si hata iringe baki mm -hmm. So, kusema you will reduce cost of living ku subsidize fertilizer, that is a big lie. Mm -hmm. It can't work. Okay. Although you, I do... You cannot add levies uh -huh. on those things that you are farming. Umongeza tax, iyo tax ya mbegu. Mm -hmm. Umongeza cost of living ya mwananchi mm -hmm. ule mwenye anafanya hiyo that, that casual farmer huyo mwenye anakuja mm -hmm. kusaidia the casual worker mm -hmm. utamlipa aje sitabidi muongeza pay hiyo pay mm -hmm. ukiongeza pay now the cost of production itakuwa high umenombolea 25 ume hiyo hiyo mbole hiyo pesa umebakisha umerudisha kwa kulipa mtu amekufanyia kazi mm -hmm. umelipa transport mm -hmm. just the same ora niambie ume umenipea mbona 25 uh -huh. ni uzi ya kg na 50 yeah, it can't work we recently had an engineer on set and he broke down now the the hmm, your time just a few days after we had a blackout the country so he was explaining to us what was happening and then whilst we were winding up he explained to me that the cost of production that you said goes up with the petroleum products especially diesel so alisema mafuta ata petroli inaweza ata end at 1000 that's okay but diesel should should because it's part of a very large part of manufacturing i might disagree with you msita because apo kwa manufacture have something else as a, a crop that you are you know harvesting or planting because it means is sinunga it's a staple food it's very very close to our hearts that's why you're always hearing someone complaining about the the cost of unga yeah. i think you can feel it yes mm? <laughs> we're just talking yes yeah so so definitely things it, there's just such imbalance now that again when you're introducing something like more counties we've not even finished with the rest we've not finished with what we have right now it just seems very anyway can that's fine <coughs> sorry for another day yes can you connect with me son yeah but to scare to import cereals from ukraine to your best like to make one bump harvest of maize and the farmers are stuck and now and i saw an article somewhere kenya is Importing maize, I don't know from yellow, eh? yellow, so you yellow what? Eh, this is what is that? Juzi was to Mexico now at the all the war in Ukraine between Ukraine and Russia. Now, Shida, now, we're not enough, and people enough, are stuck. Enough, 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 the farmers are stuck with maize. You want to import maize? Yes, what is that? Yes, now, yes, very nice. To allow me, my indie kume, Mzuri, I'm at the law, government, the law, and I. Okay, so I'm um, being informed that we are running out of time a little bit and I do not want to step into Brian Sakwa's conversation, which sounds very interesting, by the way. Eh, nasijaoliza, However, I do want to end with this. And, and, and let's just give one comment each. So, uh, part of the front page is inside Kenya Police Deadly Haiti Mission. So, Kenya has seen fit to deploy officers Cindy when the Haiti and, and there's even a continuation of here something about can can Kenyan can Kenyan what something can Kenyan do something sorry let me just confirm that is on page five can Kenyan cops crush Haiti gangs now this comes very 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 shortly after we we had a situation Itami time picketing demonstrating what you know as mandamano and there was there were allegations. There was footage, but I would believe that there's still allegations because the investigations, to the investigations, Kianza, but Kenya, it's like once investigations start, it's a wrap. Like the job is to start the investigations, but you'll never hear about them again. 
So we had Ipoa, you know, coming in and, and trying to figure out was excessive use of force used on Kenyans who, you know, were supposed to, like we said, Article 37 says you, are, you have the definitely uh, the right to picket or demonstrate, but it has to be simultaneously peacefully, guys, and unarmed. Are, you, are we together? So apparently there are some people or, or some parts of the, re of the country who did according to the constitution of Kenya, but were still punished severely. So is there some, <laughs> are we missing something here? Uh -huh. What I can say, I can't blame the cops. Mm -hmm. Because the orders come from above. Watch mm happy. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Innocently, mm -hmm. because orders me kuja. Mm -hmm. what was and then His Excellency uh, Rita no, Gashagwa comes for, and says you yeah. can't expect the police to kiss you. Yeah. That's why I say uh -huh. His Excellency the President, Dr. William mm -hmm. Samoy Ruto, mm -hmm. is smart. Mm -hmm. How time impact I can get a bit? Mm -hmm. How time is scared? Mm -hmm. He's coming at the semblance of the former president. Mm -hmm. Which one? Uru Mugai Kinyata. Kinyata? Ruto, Ruto when, he was there, when he was the deputy, mm -hmm. he, he could talk anything. Mm -hmm. But Kenyatta is just there. Ametulia. Ametulia. Now he's now dissembling uh -huh. the former. Uh -huh. That's why I love him. I mean, it's just mutual. I'm not going to too much. Umsita, tell me your opinion but. on this as we wrap it up. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I also want to blame the cops. Mm -hmm. I blame the where the orders come from. Mm -hmm. In Kenya, you heard of. Uh, places where there's low security mm -hmm. and you'll see this years the only CEO who's working is Excellency Kindiki. Mm -hmm. Every day you'll see him on television addressing uh, where there's insecurity mm -hmm. and he's there promising that what the government is going to do, you're going to put there the the cops, the 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 arms mm -hmm. to do their work. Mm -hmm. And literally in corresponding also the president at times he talks. Mm -hmm. You remember during the demonstrations when the president was uh, appreciating the police for doing what they could do? Mm -hmm. Within the law. Sorry? Within the law. Within the law. But it was not lawful for the police to do that. Mm -hmm. It's in the constitution mm -hmm. that demonstrations are allowed. Mm -hmm. But these demonstrations, they should be according to the law. Mm -hmm. If I'm the, law, uh, the demonstration are peaceful, and then you throw tear gas to the citizens. Mm -hmm. There are these people who use what you call bang, mm -hmm. bangi. Mm -hmm. There are those who use mira and all that. Mm -hmm. So you expect which cause a madman la for Wow. That line of reasoning is quite interesting. Okay. That's equal madman. Uh -huh. I was part of the demonstration uh -huh. myself when it was in Nimbakasi. Uh -huh. I was with the Raila, by the way. Uh -huh. So when you are coming, we're just peaceful. Mm -hmm. We reach almost on this outer ring road. Mm -hmm. The police started tear gassing us. Uh -huh. What will you re re respond? Mm -hmm. Mimu cause like, you give me a blow. Mm -hmm. I'm a man. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a blow. <laughs> no. Okay, we're just going to hold it there. Uh, thank you so very much for uh, participating in this conversation. This is the political segment where we just look at what's happening in the political arena. But however, before we uh, cap this completely, I want for the sake of transition, Brand Sakwa 101 is coming with a very interesting conversation. Please do go on our social media platforms and check it out. And please uh, give us a penny for your thoughts. So, eh, Makota Namsita. We're asking, ni, ni kitu gani yu fanya manomesh kwa na stress? Since I am on a, have a panel of gentlemen, <laughs> what, would, what would make you feel like you're stressed? Uh, kwangu ni na mambo mawili neza sema. Uh -huh. What gives I, man ikuwe stress? Moja, ikuwe ikuwe moja. Kitu, kitu moja. Eh, kitu moja. Eh. But zote zinaendana. Moja tu. Moja tu. Eh, please. Hey, sasa ni kisema ina the other one is that heavy. And, okay, let me say, mm -hmm. pesa. Pesa. Makota? For me, the utmost thing responsibilities possibilities Responsibility. responsibilities yeah. okay ah, 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 ah. we <laughs> really have to go at white five four on facebook white five four channel on x white five four underscore channel on instagram we're also on threads tiktok youtube but by the way my name is valentine thank you for allowing me to be with you through this segment and now we have to let it go for brian sakwa 
add Stephanie at the two.